I'm also never going to miss an opportunity to talk about vitamin deficiencies and why we need to look at them from a functional systemic perspective. This was on a video I did about B1 deficiency, and this person commented saying that they're eating a lot of foods high in B1, they're also supplementing, and they're still deficient. And we have to think about this stuff systemically, meaning not just a linear A to B, like you ingest a nutrient and you have the nutrient, but in a more complex way that takes into account all these interrelated factors that produce their own unique phenomena. So we use nutrients like B1 for energy production, for detoxification, for regulating our immune status, for regulating hormones. And there are going to be environments in which you need to do a lot more of those things than other environments. So when we are living in a modern society that is extremely high stress, that has extremely high levels of toxic toxic exposures, and when a lot of people have imbalanced microbiomes and therefore are struggling with long-term chronic infections, you can see how you're going to be using a lot more of those vitamins, like B1, than someone who was living in a very low stress, low toxin, you know, environment and had a really healthy microbiome. So the RDAs are just listed to like keep us alive. They don't take any of these other factors into account. Additionally, a lot of people, even if they're really working on eating healthy now, they didn't grow up eating that way. Most people that I work with grew up eating a lot of processed foods, or even if their parents cooked food at home, it was like the 90s version of a healthy diet, right? So they started out life with a lack of these nutrients, and now they're trying to make up for lost time. So all that being said, I know it's really popular to say like, just get all your vitamins from food. You don't need to supplement. And I do think people over supplement. I've talked about this too, where they rely too hard on supplements without addressing diet. And diet does need to be the foundation. But I see a lot of people who just are not able to overcome this hump in their healing progress until they start high dose supplementing key nutrients can't always tell you need these by testing. That's why I really focus on assessing symptoms in my client. If I'm seeing a pattern that indicates a specific nutrient deficiency, we high dose supplement that nutrient and lo and behold, we start seeing results. Because once you reach a certain extreme level of deficiency, functionally in the body, sometimes you have to way overshoot your intake for a while to make up for that. So I encourage this person, be patient. Keep doing all the things you're doing with your diet. Keep supplementing. Just give your body time to catch up. 